Hello, everybody, and welcome to my channel. This is Take 57. I keep messing them up. Today, I'm going to show you uh, how to open a PDF with Kami, edit it, and then save it and turn it into your teacher. And there's a, quite a few different ways to do this. Now, I'm going to start with Classcraft, and I'm going to open up my um, text box practice. And you, you can download your PDFs in a lot of different ways, so I'm going to be downloading mine on Classcraft but most likely you're gonna get your PDF straight from Google Classroom from your teacher, but you can also open them from um, emails where they're attached. Um, the main thing is here to download them, and then you can open up that PDF, and you're going to want to select to open the PDF with Kami. The Kami shortcut is right up top. So I'm gonna open up my Kami. Now, there's two different ways to get there. You can open it up from your Google Drive. So it's a, if it's a shared PDF, it will be in your drive. If not, it will be from your computer. You can open it from a download. So I'm going to click that open. And I, in my downloads folder, it is the first thing right here. So I'm going to just double click that PDF. It's going to open that up in Kami. And now I can start editing my assignment. So the directions for me is insert a text box on this slide and write a very short story from your childhood. So you're going to use that text box tool right here. You're going to pick your different colors and your font size. So I wanted this to be a little bit bigger. And I'm going to pick this nice blue for my font. And I'm going to insert that text box. So the trick is to just double click that text box and then it'll pop in and you can stretch it. You can type in all your answers here. I'm just giving you nonsense here. I'm not going to really type in a story. You can also change your text, but you notice that it changed all your previous text. So you really only get one choice. If you want more colors of your text, you have to do a separate text box. So in that case, I would just close this text box there and insert a different one right here. And then I will be able to choose different text for that one, different text, text box colors. But you have to get it started and write something in there before it will acknowledge the, the text box. All right, so I am done editing. I'm going to dismiss this error message. I'm done editing. I've attached my story. And now I'm going to come up here. There's a few different ways to, to save and share your document. Um, but the easiest way here is to save on Google Drive. So you can just upload it to Google Drive, and then you'll be able to share it out from there. That's really the most convenient one. Or you can save it as a hard file if your teacher wants it attached as an email or attached in Classroom. You can download it. I'm going to upload it in Google Drive. And there it is. And then I'm going to also download it so I can show you both ways. And it's going to export that document. And you see right down here, it has downloaded my PDF. And it is in my um, downloads folder on my computer. Now, right up here is the nice share button. This is going to be your best friend. This is so easy to do. You can It opens up your Google sharing privileges. So you can change this right here to viewer if you don't want anybody else to be able to edit your PDF. That's the one I use the most often. Unless you want somebody to collaborate, then you change it to editor. All right. Um, and co collaborators can download and print this file. You can turn that on or off. And then you can copy that link and send it right to your teacher. Attach it in Google. Or I'm going to come back to Classcraft. And I'm going to go to A plus assignment. And this is what you're going to do for me. You're going to click either in this gray area and find your copy from Cami, which is right. Mm, that's not the one. Right there. I had to refresh it. So it's in my downloads folder, and I'm just going to double click that, and it's going to attach my folder, or I mean my file, right to my um, Classcraft assignment. And then I'm going to hit that submit button. And I have turned it in on Classcraft. So apply that same technique to Google Classroom and you'll be all set. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. And thank you for watching my channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.